two minute update looks at a study asking what treatment is best for patients with epigastric pain and suspected gastritis. Should we give antacids combined with lidocaine or antacids alone? This study included 89 emergency department patients with epigastric pain or dyspepsia, all seen at an urban emergency department in Australia. Patients were randomized to one of three interventions, 20 cc's of an antacid solution or 10 cc's of the antacid solution combined with 10 cc's of viscous lidocaine or lidocaine solution. Improvement in pain scores was assessed at 30 and 60 minutes. Results show a trend towards more improvement in pain scores from antacids alone. The pain score improved 32 points without lidocaine compared to 21 and 26 points for the combinations with lidocaine. This did not reach statistical significance, but the taste and acceptability scores were statistically higher for the treatment without lidocaine. So adding lidocaine appears to greatly worsen taste and the patient's experience without decreasing epigastric pain. All treatments included 20 mLs total, meaning that the treatment with antacid alone had more antacid than the ones that also contained lidocaine. I would have preferred to see the same quantity of antacid in each arm. But regardless, the study shows something that we've known for years, lidocaine tastes terrible. And it tells us something new, lidocaine does not appear to improve epigastric pain when added to antacids. The next time you're leaning towards ordering a GI cocktail for gastritis, ask whether you really need the lidocaine. If you've never tasted it, it really is terrible and it does not seem to help.